Value-added tax is the world's most common form of consumption tax. It is the difference between the business sales and the purchase of goods and services from other businesses. With more than 160 countries using a value-added taxation system, this system is mostly used in the European Union, which the United States is not one of them. In Nigeria, the Federal Inland Revenue Service had the responsibility of collecting VAT on behalf of the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory. This is shared among the federal, state, and local government as an allocation with the federal government, taking 15%, whilst the states and local government share the remaining 50%. A federal high court in Port Harcourt ruled on the 10th of August 2021, restraining the Federal Inland Revenue Service from demanding taxes from the residents of river states, which impliedly affects other states. He further ruled that states should commence the collection of VAT, which is the value-added tax and personal income tax. Following this groundbreaking ruling, the Lagos State Government has demonstrated its consent to begin collection of value-added tax with a proactive strategy in compliance with the new reform. Lagos has further directed the Federal Inland Revenue Service to stop using demand notices for payment of VAT and further instructed the FIRS to render the accounts within seven days of all the sums collected. By the court order, both Governor Wike of River State and Governor Babajide Sonwolu of Lagos State had signed into law bills authorizing the state government to collect a value-added tax, a move being resisted by the Federal Inland Revenue Service. Meanwhile, states like Gombe and a few northern states have appealed to the southern governors to rescind their steps and seek continuation of the process that allows the FIRS to collect VAT. States like Delta, Kaduna, Oyo, Katsina, Kanu may experience a minimal impact, while other 30 states that account for lower revenue generation within their states are currently perplexed on what steps to take. Surprisingly, majority of the northern states have opposed the ruling of the court, considering its huge impact on the state revenue, as they have solely relied on the federal government without deliberate strategies for internal revenue generation within their states. This new legal reform will impact positively the financial and social economic sectors of the economy, as the state and local government will no longer rely on the federal government to boost their internally generated revenue. With all states having to take charge of their territories, this will urge states to look inwards and seek ways to diversify their economies. States with dormant revenues will seek to venture into tourism development, production of resources, and massive development of agriculture without total reliance on the oil sector. With about 30 states generating less than 20% of the Nigeria's value added tax, these states will suffer significant revenue decline until they seek meaningful strategies to raise sufficient revenue for state growth and development. Conclusively, it is pertinent for states to look inwardly and develop proactive strategies for internal revenue generation, which would be of immense good to the national and global development of the Nigerian states. Guys, what do you have to say about yeah. the issue when of that? When Grand Commander Wike <coughs> yes. that, eh, I was happy. Good. Uh, it's enough. It's enough. Mm. On a serious note, it's mm. enough. Now that um, the, the courts have said people should go and collect their own VAT themselves, yes. we have been shouting about allow the federal government releasing the hold on things like um, what is it mining in the states? Yes, that so that states that have the capacity mm -hmm. can do whatever mm -hmm. they need to do to mm -hmm. generate whatever. So now this will have that rebound effect if the yes. if the northern states want to be serious. That's where they should get their representatives to work now. Hmm. And say, look, oh, we can't do this thing unless you people sit down and help us remove this chain that is on us so that we'll be able to use... The federal government is not involved. Work out a, a formula. Yes. Uh, maybe we'll give them 15% of whatever it is that we generate. Oh, but I think it's enough. We can't have states 
relying solely on other states for mm. survival. It's not fair. Mm. Uh, um, for example, I think the one that has really come up is the issue of the alcohol. That it is mm. part of VAT. Mm. You take the VAT from um, alcohol, you just, nobody's, no, none of the northern countries, um, states says, oh, no, 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 no. please remove alcohol. that yeah. part of that yeah. bad part of the VAT. We don't want it. They collect it. Yet, when people who are supposed to be living in a country that is secular want to sell the alcohol in the state, you seize it and you destroy it. But you collect the money from the federal government. So it's in the, in the double standards. You know, I want to mm. bless that judge. You know, yes. so, and, you know, you see? I, mm. I would okay. never have thought mm. that the political climate of Nigeria, which is usually destructive, will produce something good. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's kind of... But states that are doing well, like Lagos, should also keep one clear thing in thought. If there should be a clear restructuring down like this, Lagos will not be the one with a port alone. And that will cut down more than 70% of Lagos revenue. Lagos should wake up to it. Then, yeah, then no, I'm looking at it. The competition, right. no, it means that the yes. competition is on. Good. And this is exactly easy. what we want. Yes. Because yes. you cannot have states. For me, if Zamfara cannot function, Sokoto State should buy them. That is, no, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Countries yeah, right now, countries, countries in the world right now operate like businesses. Absolutely. If I'm um, Sokoto State and Sanfara, okay, you have a problem. Okay, you know what? Become part of us. Yeah. Our governor is your governor. You merge. merge. Yeah. We'll take it. Do you understand? Rights to the federal government, pass it by the National Assembly. There's nothing wrong in that. I feel we have too many states. Honestly, because yeah. Yeah. if you look at the generation of uh, VAT, Lagos, Akwaibom, Kaduna, and the rest are funny people. As in, they are below par. You, and, no, you, 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 know, you kept saying northern no. states. Funny, there are a lot of southern states spent in this. Well. Abia, for, Abia is totally doing nothing. Mm. They are being spoon mm. fed by the, by the federal states. government. Yeah. There are a lot of southern gov uh, states in this. So, Honestly, I, I feel very strongly that every state in Nigeria has potential. Yes. It's yeah. just a question of thinking, of actually doing the hard work and the diligence of thinking. I don't think there's any state that by itself is useless. However, if you have done this thinking for four or five or ten years and you find that you are not useful, by all means, merge with another state. Why do you have 36 states and only six to ten states are actually generating income? Then why do you have the remaining states? It's just for the, I mean, for the purpose, for the vanity purpose of saying, oh, we have 36 states. If no. you need 10 states in Nigeria, so be it. Let's have 10 states. We need let's, a, they need a government. They need, they need a government. Yeah. <laughs> This is what I'm so, I mean, I feel like every state has potential. It mm. just takes, I mean, give me any state in Nigeria and put a think tank in that state. They will mm. tell you exactly what you can do with that state no, to generate income. The federal right? government um, hold on the resources of the state. Of the state. That's it. So that's why I'm saying what, that the, what, the states too need to wake up and make their own no, representatives. Do you yeah. know why the federal government can put that handcuff? States too. Uh, they have refused to let go of the feeding bottle of Central. Mm -hmm. exactly. they, they want to, like in this situation with VAT, you will notice that they want to collect the VAT. Yeah. They still want to collect federal allocation, allocation. from Central. How now? You, yes. It doesn't work yes. that way. <laughs> you you, you, you take one. Right? You they will take start one. thinking and saying, oh, we have tourism. Yeah. Oh, we have this resource. So that's what happens. Once like you cut state. off that supply, then people start I was in Yobe State. Mm. Then, when I got to Yobe State, the first thing I thought of was a desert rally. It's that beautiful. Yeah, you have that. small oasis. Imagine. Imagine. That been, and that desert has been there. Dubai has been a desert it's, for how many years? Look at what they've yeah. done with it. So be, we have those deserts. finer than uh, Dubai because it has those small, small the oasis which sand. are more. And oh, then you right, know, right. those palms, you know, they are in, they are in shorter know. distance. They are not like the yes. Sahara Desert that before you see what I trek. See <laughs> how we killed Tinapa. Yeah. Yes. Tinapa was killed. Think about that. I think what even hurts me the most is why we don't have a five star hotel with a golf course at the confluence. How many confluences are in exactly. the world? There are just about three. Kogi yes. is sleeping. Kogi and yes. the United States. I want, to, I want to believe that if we can have more people, more indigenous of all these states that are not as developed as that of Lagos and Abuja, if we can have a lot of them come out to want to privatize some of these businesses, mm -hmm. I think that what they can do will be more than what the government can do because then it's something that they are spending their own money on and they want to develop their states yes. and give them more global recognition. Fantastic. But the government yeah. is not ready to let go no, of that. It's not even the government. Yeah. What scares the people is the fact that once the governor changes, the money you've invested, uh, yeah. you shot. Yes. That's where the problem is. But you see, this policy. bad thing is a good. No, it's a good thing. Yeah, I couldn't believe. Right direction. Absolutely. Yes. 
We know that it's not yes. from a heart of they want to do. Yes. But, yes. but yes. 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 we are happy. Yes. 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 So we'll keep this conversation going. The issue of VAT cannot be overemphasized. Adebola is next after this break. Stay with us.